500 years ago, 21st century scientists devised a plan to emigrate to Mars to deal with overpopulation. They planted modified algae all over Mars in order to absorb the sunlight and purify the atmosphere. They also sent millions of cockroaches to Mars, as their corpses would spread algae across the planet as they fed. This plan was then known as the Terraforming Project. 500 years later, in the year 2597, they devised another plan to eradicate the cockroaches. The beginning of the film shows a man and a woman running away from the authorities. These are Shokichi Kamachi and Nanao Akita. They were accused of second-degree murder and were facing a shoot-to-kill sentence. When they got cornered by the police authorities, a scientist named Ko Honda arrived and recruited them for a mission on Mars. They were to undergo surgery before they got sent to Mars to eradicate the cockroaches sent to the planet 500 years ago, and in exchange, they would receive full pardon and a very large sum of money. Shokichi refused, as he didn't want Nanao to be put in danger, but Nanao didn't think the same way and agreed to do the mission. Left with no choice, Shokichi decided to go so he could protect Nanao. Two years later, after their training, they were finally in the Bugs 2 ship on their way to Mars with other recruits of low social status and with criminal records. They got ready for the mission to commence once they entered Mars' atmosphere, and they saw that the once sandy land of Mars now looks so green due to terraforming. They launched a high-potency roach killer called Mars Red Pro to kill the roaches near the ship, and in three hours, ground operations would begin. They sent a drone to confirm the potency of Mars Red Pro and the location of the Bugs-1 ship before Dojima reported their findings to Honda. Bugs-1 was the first ship to get sent to Mars two years ago with six members. But for some mysterious reason, the whole crew was wiped out after sending a warning back to Earth. Three hours later, after the launch of Mars Red Pro, the Bugs 2 crew began their ground operations. Shokichi and Nanao were partnered up as they walked around looking for roaches. When he saw a clump of moss, he mistook it for a roach and jumped away in fear. After getting teased by Nanao for being scared of roaches, the two of them continued looking around. On the other hand, Jim and Maria were partnered up, and the former was observing the ground for dead roaches but found that there were none. Maria assumed that the pesticide didn't work, but as they walked further, they saw a group of three giant mutants. Jim covered Maria's mouth and hid behind the rock, wondering what those creatures were. Back to Shokichi and Nanao, they also saw one mutant, and Shokichi tried to be friendly towards it, intimidated by its appearance. But the giant mutant approached them, and at the speed of light, the mutant had already broken Nanao's neck, killing her. Shokichi cradled Nanao, and the mutant ran away. Jim and Maria ran towards them and announced that Mariki, the former female cop in their crew, had also been killed by the mutants. Nanao was brought back to the ship, where they laid her lifeless body on a hard bed. All crew members confronted Dojima about the creatures they saw, and they discovered that those mutants were actually the cockroaches they were sent to kill. Dojima revealed to them that when the cockroaches were sent to Mars, they were exposed to relentless radiation, a temperature of negative 80 degrees Celsius, and extreme conditions on the planet. It led to explosive evolution that turned them into giant, mutated humanoid cockroaches with spectacular strength and speed. The government called them terraformers and kept them a secret from the public. These mutated cockroaches were also the reason why the whole Bugs 1 crew was wiped out two years ago. Hondo joined in the conversation through his projection and reminded the complaining crew that they willingly joined in exchange for the benefits they would receive after the mission. He then explained the mission, called Bugs Operation, to the crew. Through the surgery they underwent before getting sent to Mars, bug DNA was planted into their genes, which then gave them superpowers to fight with the roaches. Once Honda's projection left, Dojima showed the crew the bug cell activator that would allow their bodies to mutate and give them the powers they needed to defeat the roaches. Dojima then sent data to each member about their abilities. Dojima warned everyone not to overuse the bug cell activator as it would make human immunity go into shock, which would kill them. Dojima admitted that he had orders to keep the information about the terraformers confidential and apologized for not warning them sooner, which resulted in Nanao and Mariki's deaths. Moments later, the terraformers are closing in, and Lee, the terrorist in the group, stated that they have to use this mission as an opportunity to show who they really are to the government, which treated them like they were nothing. Lee went out of the ship alone in an attempt to show off and kill a terraformer by himself. He activated his bug cell and mutated into a bombardier beetle. The others watched on as Lee skillfully fought with the terraformer with his new abilities. At first, it seemed as though Lee was winning, but as it turns out, the terraformer was unaffected. Lee attempted to attack the terraformer again, but in one swift move, Lee was killed. The others were surprised that not even Lee could beat the terraformer, and they saw one terraformer on the top window. It smacked the window repeatedly until it broke and cut two crew members' heads off on its way down. 
Shokichi prepared to activate his bug cell when Dojima stopped him. Dojima activated his own bug cell and mutated into Paraponera clavata, also known as the bullet ant. As fast as a bullet, Dojima sped towards the terraformer and slammed it down on the ground, destroying its head and killing it. Ichiro, the shut-in hacker, saw that a huge number of terraformers were approaching their ship, and they prepared for takeoff. Soraya wondered why the terraformers wanted to attack them unprovoked, and Maria answered that there was no other reason. Just like humans would kill an insect for no reason at all, simply because they were disgusted, the terraformers also want to kill them for the same reason. While everyone was talking, Obari was preparing the ship for takeoff but then realized that they wouldn't be able to fly. The ship's control panel was dead, and the backup system wasn't working. Dojima then ordered everyone to take the tanker to Bugs 1 while he acted as a decoy. Bugs 1 had the same system as Bugs 2, so he intends on using their parts to make Bugs 2 fly. Obari asked him how they'd get to Bugs 1 when they were surrounded by terraformers, and Dojima replied that Roach's nests have aggregation pheromones, so he would scatter them from the dead terraformers' guts and draw the other terraformers in. Shokichi told Dojima that he was going to stay with him, and Jim said the same. Seeing the two silently challenging each other, Ichiro told them to go while he stayed behind with Dojima. The terraformers are now climbing the ship, and the rest of the crew is preparing to leave for Bugs 1. Shokichi went to the room where Nanao was and promised to come back for her. He was about to leave when he noticed a string of webs coming out of Nanao's body. Meanwhile, Ichiro mutated and fought with the terraformers coming inside the ship. But there were just too many of them, so Ichiro ended up running away instead. The crew finally got into the rover they were going to use and prepared to leave. But Jim told them to wait for Shokichi. Serial killer Tezuka mutated into a rove beetle and laid on top of the vehicle. Shokichi arrived and yelled at Tezuka to fire away before jumping into the rover. Tezuka blasted flames out of his mouth, enabling the rover to move very fast. Dojima was fighting the terraformers in the ship while Ichiro was hiding, waiting for his command. Before this expedition, Dojima had a talk with Honda, who berated him for an incident Dojima caused that resulted in him losing his position as a captain. Honda told Dojima to bring back a terraformer's egg from Mars, and in exchange, he'd make him captain again. Back in present time, Dojima screamed for Ichiro's attention, and the latter immediately closed all gates in the ship before expelling the ship's oxygen, killing the terraformers. In the rover, Shokichi and Jim were talking about Shokichi's initial plan of staying behind in the ship and dying with Nanao. Jim mocked Shokichi for still caring for the woman who turned him into a killer. Flashback to two years ago, Shokichi found Nanao getting assaulted by his stepfather. Enraged, Shokichi fought with the stepfather, who then got stabbed and killed by Nanao. Seeing what happened, Shokichi took the knife from Nanao and stabbed the stepfather repeatedly to make it look like he was the one who killed the man and not Nanao. Back to the present, Shokichi asked Jim why he joined the crew, and Jim replied that after losing his only childhood friend to an infectious disease, he had nothing left with him anymore and decided to join the expedition to Mars. Their attention was diverted when they noticed something in the distance and were surprised to see that it was a tsunami wave of terraformers. Tezuka continued blasting out flames and successfully blasted them through the wave. The crew celebrated for a while but then realized that there was a second wave coming, and a much bigger one at that. Knowing that Tezuka wouldn't be able to survive that kind of wave, Soraya mutated into a hard shell weevil bug, followed by Maria, who mutated into a rainbow stag beetle. Using their shells, they protected Tezuka and the rover from the wave but struggled, resulting in the rover flipping and everyone losing consciousness. The rover accidentally switched to automatic mode and drove away by itself, leaving Tezuka, Maria, and Soraya behind. The three of them were killed. On the ship, Shokichi was struggling to kill the remaining terraformers while dealing with the lack of oxygen at the same time. Meanwhile, Ichiro has lost consciousness due to a lack of oxygen. Everyone in the rover regained consciousness and realized that they had arrived at the Bugs 1 ship. Shokichi yelled for Tezuka, Maria, and Soraya but then realized that they were gone. The crew went inside Bugs 1, and Obari checked the system, where they learned that Bugs 1 transmitted something to Earth. They heard a gunshot and ran outside to see two of their members dead from a gunshot. The terraformers appeared with guns from Bugs 1, and they wondered just how far the roaches have evolved that they even know how to use a gun. Unbeknownst to them, Honda was watching their every move using a drone. He called someone to ask about the happenings in Bugs 2, and here we could see that the one he called was actually a terraformer. Honda warned the terraformer to watch out for Shokichi once he mutated, as Shokichi's bug was vicious. Meanwhile, Shokichi has finally mutated into Japan's Asian giant hornet and stung the terraformers, easily killing them. Following him were Jean, who mutated into a desert locust, and Obari, who mutated into a giant Asian mantis. After killing the terraformers, 
they noticed a pyramid, confusing them as to why it was on Mars. On the ship, a terraformer approached Dojima's body and pointed a gun at him. Suddenly, the terraformer's body got destroyed from the inside, revealing Mariki, whose bug is based on the emerald cockroach wasp. It was revealed that Mariki was the first to activate her bug cell and had been controlling the terraformers. After finding out that Ichiro, who was still unconscious, was also a traitor, Mariki repeatedly shot Dojima. Ichiro, whose bug cell was based on the sleeping Chironomid, was woken up by Mariki. They retrieved a fresh new terraformer egg and planned on going back to Earth. The drone showed up in front of Shokichi and the other two, and the three remaining crew members discovered that everything was planned. Bugs 2 wasn't working because Ichiro tampered with the system, and this whole expedition was just for the egg Honda wanted to get. Honda then explained that when the Bugs 1 crew died, an escape pod returned to Earth. Inside the pod was a terraformer head. The Japanese government decided to use this to make their immigration to Mars faster. Honda researched the terraformer head and fused human DNA with bug DNA, creating a humanoid weapon that would fight against the terraformers. By obtaining a terraformer egg, Honda wanted to unravel the secrets of their evolution so Japan could create a biological weapon rivaling any nuclear weapon. Honda then explained that the pyramid carried genetic material. After his explanations, Honda ordered them to exterminate the cockroaches, and Shokichi threatened to kill him. Back on the ship, Ichiro prepared the ship for takeoff when they noticed the egg cracking, revealing two newly born terraformers. Mariki stung them with her claws to control them, but she failed as the newly born terraformers killed them. Honda witnessed it and realized that since the newly born terraformers were the offspring of two terraformers that were controlled by Mariki, the offspring evolved even further and developed resistance against Mariki's poison. The newly born terraformers roared, causing all terraformers to grow wings and fly to the ship. The ship was destroyed, and the three remaining Bugs 2 members fought against the terraformers. Witnessing Obari's death, Jim used the bug cell activator again and evolved. Shokichi did the same, and they fought even better. But they were still losing, so Jim overused the cell and managed to kill one of the two overpowered newly born terraformers before collapsing. Shokichi protected him but was knocked down by the evolved terraformer. Just as when the terraformer was about to kill Shokichi, they all noticed a shining silkworm moth. Shokichi was surprised to realize it was Nanao. Nanao flew around and spread dust all over them. Jim realized that Nanao was on a suicide mission and was planning on setting the dust on fire, so he told Shokichi to run away, but the latter didn't listen. Shokichi flew towards Nanao, who caused the dust to explode, and before he could be hit by the explosion, Jim flew up and pulled Shokichi away. After the explosion, the two of them fell, and when Shokichi woke up, he approached Jim's dying body. Jim told him that Nanao transformed into a silkworm moth by her own strength to protect Shokichi. So the latter must use this as a reason to survive and go back to Earth. Meanwhile, on the ship, a terraformer went to attack Ichiro. Desperate to survive and help his family, Ichiro found the courage and strength to kill the terraformer. Shokichi was fighting with the newly born terraformer but decided not to kill it after knocking it down. He went back to the ship and confronted Ichiro, who killed a terraformer that was about to attack Shokichi from behind. The two of them decided to make amends and go back to Earth using an escape pod. The terraformers prepared to attack the pod, but the newly born terraformer, who is now the leader, ordered everyone not to do anything as it watched the escape pod leave Mars. Realizing that he had failed, Honda was planning on disappearing and selling the results of the bug operation, knowing that the government was going to betray him in the end because of his failure. He discovered that his assistant had been a spy all along, and when the assistant tried to kill him, Honda used his secret creation to kill her before leaving. In the escape pod, Shokichi told Ichiro that he planned on making graves for Nanao and the other crew members. He looked at the planet Mars, stating that he wanted to return to it again. 